in this video I'm gonna prepare cassava dumplings I am using one pound of sweet cassava so I'm gonna peel the cassava off camera and then I will be right back after peeling the cassava if you do not have a food processor you can use a grater to grate the cassava however I am going to use a food processor so I am going to cut the cassava into small pieces just to help with the food processors blade cassava season is officially over cassava is now taking spring as we say in Jamaica meaning it is time to plant cassava so people are now preparing the fields to plant cassava so no more cassava in the market for now if you see cassava in the market they're not good they might take spring then tough you understand some people not easy they're not going to throw it they might go sell you and when you carry home to cook it it's tough can't cook take spring you understand So now it's time to grate the cassava pieces into the food processor. So I'm scraping the grated cassava into a container. Okay, so I'm making Jamaican's traditional cassava dumplings. I know that everybody cooks differently, but this is the traditional way of preparing cassava dumplings. Okay, yeah man. Okay, so this step is similar to making bami, right? So I'm placing the grated cassava into a clean dish towel and I'm going to wring out the starch. You understand? Because I don't want the starch in my system. I can't imagine putting the flour into that and then knead it and eat it. You understand? Traditionally, I know that you wring out the starch from out of the cassava, especially if you live overseas. You don't have the choice of pick and choosing the type of cassava that you will get. You understand? And like me in Jamaica, I use sweet cassava because I have choices. There's two varieties of cassava. You have the sweet and you have the bitter. When you live overseas, you don't know which one you're going to get. You understand so for you now to grate the cassava and then put the flour without wringing out the starch it can very much be the bitter cassava and the starch from that cassava is poisonous so be careful wring out the starch out of the cassava don't 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 eat the starch okay yeah man so what I'm doing now is to wring out the starch as much as the, um, as much as possible all right because I'm gonna ring until it is dried yeah man do you see the amount of starch you don't want that in your system trust me they now put the starch from the cassava into the red stripe beer but they do something to it first they used to use corn but they said that the price for corn is too expensive because it was the imported corn so now they are using the cassava starch but they do something to it before you know you don't want all of that in your system man it's not good to ingest you understand
as usual the camera stopped because of overeating problem and i did not realize anyway this is the cassava that i am gonna use now to make cassava dumplings yeah man so i got rid of the starch yes so this is what we call the cassava mass so now i'm just fluffing it out with my hands because it kind of lumpy yeah man so i'm just fluffing it out so now i'm gonna pass the cassava through a strainer So after passing the cassava through a strainer, this is it now. Let's get down to business, right? This is pure cassava. 100% you're looking at right now. Pure cassava. Okay? Yeah, man. Pure cassava flour, as we call it. So now, I am going to add flour to it right and you know it is cassava dumpling so you don't want to put a lot of flour right so I'm adding one cup of flour because it is about two cups of cassava you understand so you want the cassava is very strong in taste so the one cup of flour the cassava will overpower the, the, the flour right so you won't taste when you're eating the dumplings, it will taste like cassava dumplings. You understand? And that's what you want. So that's why I'm not adding a lot of flour. Just one cup. Because, you know, you have to add flour to it. So that it can actually come together. And then I added half teaspoon of salt. Right? But don't take my measurement in salt. Just add salt to suit your taste. Right, so now I am going to mix the flour and the cassava together. Combine is probably a better word to use. You man, just combine. And then I am going to pour a little water at a time. You understand? To make a dough. I am dusting with just a little bit of flour because the dough is soft. Not too soft, but you don't know. Just a little bit of flour. It won't change the taste at all. So now I'm going to allow the dough to rest for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to cover it and leave it on the countertop. So after about 10 minutes or so, the dough is well rested and it is very moist. And that is the reason I allow it to rest for 10 minutes because I want it to be moist and nice. You understand? Yeah, man. So a pot is already on fire with sweet potatoes cooking. So I'm going to make some dumplings and add it to the pot as well. Yeah, man, and I do not like big dumplings. No, sir. 
my dumplings should be small. So now I'm going to add the dumplings to the pot and cook them for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes is good enough. The dumplings are all cooked, the sweet potatoes are cooked as well. And the look at the sweet potatoes, they are so pretty. Yellow belly sweet potatoes, or if you rather me to say yellow flesh. You understand, but just being cultural in Jamaica, we say yellow belly. You understand? Yeah man, so now I am removing the dumplings from the pot. Yeah man, so normally when I prepare cassava dumpling, I normally pair it with salt fish and ackee. In this case, I prepared curried salt fish and ackee. That recipe will be coming soon. And that's for the family. But for myself, I prepared fry up salt fish because I do not eat ackee. This is my Jamaican traditional cassava dumplings. Thanks for watching. Walk with until next time.